Hey everyone, how's it going? Now, after all the success of our Sonic, Spider-Man, and Godzilla drawing, I thought it'd be fun to come up with another idea for this. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw Kong, Knuckles, and Venom. Kind of the big bruisers of all of those series. So I hope you guys follow along, and thanks for watching. Now to start off with our Venom, Knuckles, and Kong, let's begin with Venom. So I'm going to start right over here, and let's begin by making his face. We'll start with his eyes, and I'll just begin by making a little line that's just going to come up, and it's going to curve up like this. Then we're going to come down, and we're going to bring it around. Do the same thing here. We're just going to kind of go over and up a little bit. Then we're going to bring it down to here. Starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to go out and in. I'm going to make a line that's going to come down, and it's going to come up to here. I'll make a little line across. Then I'm going to draw a line that's going to come down, and it's going to go over. Next, I'm going to add some sharp, pointy teeth right along here. and some more sharp teeth right along the bottom. Next for the tongue, we'll draw a line that's gonna be kind of wavy. We're gonna to come to a point and then bring it back. Next we're gonna draw a line that's gonna come around and down to here. little line across and line is going to come down and then back up for the jaw. Now starting up here towards the top of the head I'm going to draw a line that's going to go up and down and then another line is going to come up and then down here. Next I'm going to make a line that's going to go out and then we're going to come down. I'm going to draw a line that's going to come around, it's going to come out to a point, and then we're going to bring it back for one of the claws. We'll draw a line that's going to come down, it's going to come up to a point, and then back down. We'll do another one here, we'll go out, come up to a point, bring it down and over. We'll do one here. And then we'll end off with one more here. Line goes up and in. I'm going to curve this around. Make a line that goes down and up. And then one more here. Starting here, we're going to go up and down. And then another one's going to go up and down here. We're going to go out, and then we're going to come down. Make a line that's going to go over. It's going to come down to a point up, and then back. Make a line that's going to come over. Curve it around to a point. Another one's going to come around and back. And then one more here. Bring this line up and another one. And we're going to make lines going to come down to a point and then back for the thumb. And we'll bring this line up. Make lines going to come down to here. Next, we'll draw lines going to come down. We're going to bring it over. Another one here, we're going to go over and up. One more line down and over, and one here. Starting here, I'm going to make a line that's going to go up, come down and over. 
and then we're gonna make a line's gonna come in. We'll bring this line down, curve it up and in. We're gonna go up and over. One more line's gonna come down and up. And we'll make one here. Now starting here, I'm gonna make lines gonna come up and we're gonna go down. I'm gonna bring this down here. We're gonna go down and then we're gonna curve it up. We're gonna come up here and we're gonna bring this over. Another line here. Then we're gonna bring a line down. Now, over here, I'm going to add knuckles, and then we're going to come back and add some more details to Venom in a little bit. Now, to start off with knuckles, we're going to begin with his face. So I'm going to start right about here, and I'm going to make a line that's going to come down, and then it's going to go over. Next, we'll do the same thing. We're going to go down, and I'm going to come up and over here. For his eye, I'm going to go down and up hand over here. We're just going to go down, over, and up. Right here, I'm going to make a small black oval that I'm going to color in most of it for his nose. We'll draw a half oval that goes down and up, and then one more here. Make a little line here. Make a little line, it's gonna go over, it's gonna come down, it's gonna come up and then in. And then right here I'm gonna go up, we're gonna go over and back down for the mouth. And another line's gonna come over to connect. Make a little line over for the tongue. We can just color in the rest of this. We'll draw a little line underneath it. Next, I'm going to bring this line up, and I'm going to bring this line up. And then starting here, we're going to draw a line that's going to come around and then down. Now, starting right about here, I'm going to make a line that's going to come down, and it's going to go over. Another one, we're going to come down, and then we'll go over here. We'll draw a line that's going to go down, over, and we're going to come up and over for the start of the glove. We'll go up and down for the thumb. We'll come over. Go down and in, out, and then we're just going to curve this back. And we're going to put these big points on it for the spikes. Now we're going to make this line come down, and we're going to bring it up here. And we're going to make one that's going to curve down here for those big spikes. Now up here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to come around. And then we're going to curve it to here. And we're going to make a line that's going to come over and down here for the thumb. And another line here. We'll put those big spikes on here too. Starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to come down for the body. 
then I'll make a line that's going to come down and then back up. We'll bring this line up and then over. And a little curve line. A little line here. And then for a shoe, we'll just draw a line that's going to go around and then up. We'll curve this around for the sole. We'll draw a line that's going to go down and then come back up for the other leg. We'll go out, down, over, and then back up. Go down, curve this around, and up. And we're just going to curve this around to connect. We'll draw a line that's going to go up and then come back to over. I'm going to make another little curve here for more of those kind of spikes that he has. And then inside of here, I'm going to just add a little pupil inside of each one. And then I'm going to make another little bump right up here. Now that we have knuckles, I want to add Kong back here. Now to start off with Kong, we're going to put him over here just so we have a little bit more room to see some stuff over here. So I'm going to begin right up here, and I'm just going to draw a line that's going to come down. And then I'm going to bring it back. Do the same thing here, we're going to leave some space, we're just going to come down, and then we're going to bring it up, kind of like two curved check marks. We'll make a half circle inside each one for the pupil or the eye. Then we'll draw a little half circle inside each one for the pupil, and we'll color in everything except a little part for a little bit of shine inside of there. I'm going to bring this over and around. And we're going to add a couple little curved lines right underneath here. Right about here for the nose, we'll make a line that's going to go up. It's going to come down and in. Same thing here, we're going to go up, down, and then in. Curve this around on each side. We're make lines going to go up, we're going to come down and in. Same thing here, we're going to go up, over, and then in. Now starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to come down on each side. And we're going to slowly curve this in. Right about here, I'm going to make a line that's going to come over and down. And then right over here, we're going to make a line that's going to come in on each side. We just kind of go down and then in. And then we're just going to come down. We'll bring this line down on each side. And then we're just going to bring it a little bit farther down. Right here, I'm going to make a line that's going to come up. And then we're just going to come down. Same thing here, we're just going to go up and down. I'm going to make a couple little bumps right inside of here. Next, I'm going to make a couple little lines across for like some wrinkles on his nose. Now, starting in here, I'm going to start a little bit lower than this line, and we're going to make some teeth. 
So I'm going to make some kind of like squared teeth right here in the middle. So we're just going to kind of go down and over. Make another one here. And then one more here. Then this one I'm going to curve around the top and I'm going to make a big fang that's going to go down and up. And then this one we'll just see the top, we won't see the bottom of the fang. Make a line that's going to come down and around for the tongue. We'll make a line that comes down. Make a line that's going to go over and curve around. And then one more for another tooth down here. We'll make one over here. Then I'll make a line that's going to come up and then down for one of his bottom teeth. Then we'll make a couple of square shapes for some more. Draw a little curve line around. Another little line coming around. And then a line that comes all the way to the bottom and it's going to curve up here. Now starting down here I'm going to make some pointed lines that are just going to come down on each side. These are going to kind of come down and then in right towards knuckles. Now I'm going to make some more right here and more here. Then I'm going to make a little line here and then one that's going to come all the way over to here. Right up here we're going to make a line that's going to go over. It's going to come down and in. And the same thing here, over, down, and then in for the ears. And then we're just going to continue the top of the fur all the way. Right here, I'm going to make a line that's going to go over and down. And the one over here is going to go over and then down for his chest. Right here, we're just going to curve this down and in. And same thing here, down and then in. Now, I want to come in here and start adding some of the different details on everybody, and let's start with Kong, since we are just working on him. I want to begin by drawing a couple little broken lines right along here, and just adding a few more right around his eye, some along the top and the sides here. Some little broken lines right around here, and a few more lines in here. Add a couple lines here, and then I'm going to make a few kind of long broken lines coming right up here on this part of his mouth. Put a few along the top as well, and some right along the side of his face too, just for some detail. We'll add a few little lines right along the gums, and then even a few lines on his tongue as well. And I'm going to make some of these lines along his face around the hair a little bit longer just for some more detail. Even a few lines right in here. Now for knuckles I'm just going to add a couple quick little lines kind of right around where some of those spikes and everything would be. And a couple little lines on his hands. And then even a little line right here just to kind of show where his stomach is. Now on Venom, I'm just going to add a couple little broken lines right by his feet and a few on his legs as well. We'll add a couple little lines right here and then a couple more right by his eyes and his mouth. Now for his little detail on him, I'm going to make a line that's going to go over, it's going to come to a point, and then it's going to curve in. And we're just going to kind of come down and then bring this back up here. I'll draw a line that's going to come up and then down. And then another one's going to come up and down with a couple little lines in here. We'll add some little lines kind of right around his hands 
and a couple little lines right on his arms and everything, just to show where some of his muscles and everything would be. We'll add a couple little details on his fingers and his hands. And a couple on his head too. And there you go, there is your drawing of Venom, Knuckles, and Kong. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.